we had reliable chapter chiefs and devoted chairmen. Throughout the year, these airmen continually innovated lodge practices and thought of ideas of how to improve our lodge. Zakui so welcomed 145 new Order of the Arrow members into our lodge. This class of airmen was hardworking, with many of them returning as a mass to guide more ordeal candidates on the trail of brotherhood. These alongamats were the essential to the success of the ordeal this year. In addition, with the hard work of Bryce Mayer and Kevin Zabrowski, our ordeals were extremely successful because of their leadership. <laughs> the 49 Order of the Arrow members sealed their bond in the Order of the Arrow. These new Brotherhood members immediately took on the roles of leadership in the Lodge. Some of these arrowmen were so enthusiastic <coughs> about the OA that they ran and were elected to officer positions in our lodge the same weekend that they received their commitment to the order. So thank you, you guys. <laughs> and finally, the most exciting news of 2011. The most exciting news of 2011 was that Sakuit was given the privilege of hosting the Section NE5A 2012 Conclave. Woo! Yeah. This conclave is going to be held June 8th to 10th at Yards Creek. We as the Service Lodge, it's our duty to make sure that Yards Creek is ready for the over 200 participants that will arrive on June 8th. In preparation, our Section Conclave Coordinator, Daniel Woods, has, is, has been working to open registration, advertise with flyers, and recruit staff members for this event. But the Lodge Executive Committee can't create a conclave on its own. We need you, the Airmen of the Lodge, to rise to the occasion by attending events in 2012 where we will be preparing conclave. As the snows of winter melt into spring, we'll be heading out to Yards Creek for spring play, where we will hold elections for the 2012-2013 officers. Two more deals in the spring and one in the fall will give Airmen a chance to join the National Honor Society of Scouting. But we must remember that our future members in the OA cannot take their ordeal without an election team visiting their troop. The unit election season is now open. We need as many arrowmen as possible to accept the challenge by working with their chapter chiefs and the unit elections chairman, Ian Luxembourg, to ensure that all troops are visited and encouraged to hold a OA elections. In conclusion, we have come a long way in 2011. We accomplished much and worked hard to provide a spectacular program for the 694 Order of the Arrow members in our lodge. As we step into 2012, I can't wait to start working on the new Lodge Journey to Excellence program. I am confident that we can succeed. Of course, we could not have made such a great program without the help of all the adults who took the time out of their schedules to come and advise and support us. So I'd like to give all the adults in the room a big round of applause. my State of the Lodge address. Thank you all for your attention. I'm honored to be your Lodge Chief and I look forward to our participation in all of the great OA programs scheduled for 2012. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. I would now like to call upon the Supreme Chief of the Fire, Mr. Ian Lillian, to come up and say a few words. You all in my group. I just wanted to start out by echoing Andy's comments, saying thank you to all of you in this room. Um, we could not operate Central New Jersey Council without a strong OA launch. And I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Did I do something? Oh, I thought you were going like this. I thought you were giving me the cut. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, my God. Andy, take care of him, please. Uh, <laughs> but to say thank you whether it was for day camps, whether it was for our Cub resident camp, whether it was for our VIVA program this past summer, I just want to say thank you, and I truly appreciate all your hard work. I want to recognize the Lodge Chief, Mr. Munkin, fantastic. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> you guys, why don't you stand up here in the Executive Committee, give him a round of applause. Get up, guys. Get up, guys. Thank you.
our current Lodge advisor, Mr. Steve Linz. Thank you for all your support. Said too. Thank you, Mark. Wherever you, Mark, stand up, please. Thank you. Thank you. And he actually paid me twenty-five dollars to do this. I want to recognize our lodge staff advisor, Mr. Bob Clark. <laughs> and also to echo Andy's comments, um, I challenge each and every one of you in this room. Um, to earn the Journey to Excellence Lodge status in 2012. Um, this is a, we have a great bunch of people in this council. We are a fantastic council. And there's absolutely no reason why we can't do this in 2012. And if you need my support in any way, please don't hesitate to call. 2012 is going to be an exciting year for this council. Um, I all want everybody in this room to be part of it. Some of you will be called on to do cheerful tasks. But I uh, just wanted to let you know how important it is to have a strong OA Lodge. And I'm so thankful as the SCAD executive to call you my friend. So I appreciate it and enjoy the rest of the evening. Take care.